On this problem, we are asked to solve the following. This is an equation. Notice the equal sign. We have some parentheses. So as we learned in the past, we'll distribute through parentheses. But it also has decimals. A lot of students prefer to remove the decimals to begin with. There's a simple technique to remove decimals, but let's first investigate what these decimals are. So for example, on the right side, we have 0 0.4 times 5x minus 1. What is 0 0.4? It is 4 tenths. In other words, it can be replaced with 4 over 10. So when you see a decimal, 0 0.4 or 0 0.5, you're looking at a different form of a fraction. One of the first steps in equations is almost always to clear fractions if you have any. Then you proceed to multiply through distrib and distribute it through parentheses, and then combine like terms. But your first step is to get rid of fractions. So although they don't look like fractions, the 0.4 is actually 4 tenths. It's a fraction. So when you see a 0.4, you have a tenths. Multiplying by 10 here, obviously you need to do it everywhere, but just isolated, that would get rid of that 10. So you learn that when you have a 0.4, you can multiply by 10, and it'll change to 4. So the technique, if you had 0 0.05, to recognize that's 5 over 100. And the technique to clear that would be multiply by 100. So the shortcut is to ask yourself, how many times would you need to move the decimal to make a whole number? If you have to move it twice, then you would have to multiply by 1 with two zeros. If you have to move it once, you'd have to multiply by 1 with one zero. But it's because these are fractions that we know to do this. So now that we've discussed that, to get rid of one decimal place, we would multiply by 10. Let's take a look at this problem now. Deleting this work, give us some space to work. All right, let's multiply by 10. Now, on an equation, you have to make sure to multiply both sides by 10. So, on the left side, this would look like this. And on the right side, it would look like this. So, we're multiplying both sides by 10. Now, the one on the left can distribute through the new parentheses we have, leaving us 10 times 14 minus 10 times 0 0.5 times x minus 1. Now on the right side, we have a little bit different situation. This inside is only one term. On the left side, we had two terms because of the subtraction, so we distributed to both terms. On the right side, there is only one term, so there's only one 10. 10 times 0 0.4 times 5x minus 1. So we end up, notice, 1, 2, 3. We multiply by 10 three times on this problem because we had 1, to three terms in our equation. So when you multiply to clear fractions, make sure that you end up multiplying every term by that number, the lowest common denominator. Now, let's see what we have. 10 times 4, 14, is 140, minus 10 times 0.5 is 5. That's why we're multiplying by 10 to clear fractions. In this case, to clear decimals, which are fractions. Now on the right, 10 times 0.4 is 4. Okay, we now no longer have any decimals. Next, so that's our clearing fractions or decimals first step. Oops. Our next step is to distribute through parentheses. Now this negative 5, oops, there we go, negative 5, that's what's going to distribute through. 
or this 4. So on the left side, we have to distribute the negative 5, not just the 5. So we'll have 140. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 1, two negatives make a positive 5. On the right side, 4 times 5x is 20x. And 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Make sure you are distributing, if you have a subtraction like this case, you're distributing the whole negative 5 through to all terms inside the parentheses. Here it's positive 4, we distribute that through. Now, like terms. Notice 140 and plus 5 are like terms. That makes 145. And minus 5x equals 20x minus 4. This would be considered simplified. We have simplified our equation. Now we need to start to solve for x. Notice we have x's on the left, we have x's on the right, so we need to decide which side do we want the x's on. And a common technique is just to move them to the left. So if I subtract x, 20x, from the right side to the left side, that will make 0. All my x's will be on the left. Now, knowing the x's are going to end up on the left, we want to have the numbers end up on the right. So I can subtract 145, and there's room to do both of these steps conveniently, and we will end up with negative 25x, all the x's on the left, and negative 149 all the numbers on the right. So there's only one step left to do and that is to divide by negative 25 and we have our final answer of x equals the two negatives make a positive 149 over 25. When your initial question has decimals, a common form of the answer is also decimal form. If we were to plug 149 divided by 25 into our calculator, we would also get this answer, x equals 5.96. So you have, and this is an exact form, these decimals do not repeat, so these are both exact answers to this question. To check this answer, you would plug 5.96 in for the x's and use your calculator. Let's take a look at the check. So we're going to check our initial equation, x equals 5.96, and we'd have 14 minus 0 0.5 times 5.96 minus 1 equals 0 0.4 times 5 times 5.96 minus 1. I'm going to work on the inside of the parentheses first. I'm going to have 14 minus 0 0.5 times 5.96 minus 1 is 4.96 go. Equals. You get inside the parentheses first. 5 times 5.96 is 29.8 and then subtract 1. Okay, still a little more inside the parentheses on the right, so I'm just going to copy everything else down. We have 29.8 minus 1 is 28.8. Now we do the multiplications. So we have 14 minus 0.5 times 4.96, which is 2.48. That would equal 0.4 times 28.8, which is 11.52. And finally, 14 minus 2.48 is 
2. And in this way, we have verified our answer, and we know for a fact that x equals 5.96 on this equation.